Hello everybody. I'm excited today to show you the brand new Typhoon H and we're going to do a quick little unboxing let you kind of see what all's inside of the box. I've seen the Typhoon H several times out at CES, NAB, and the various shows, but these are the first production models. Now we got in a big shipment last week. We shipped them all out to our pre-orders. This is actually the first one I've had my hands on to be able to take it out of the box and see what's in the box. So figured I'd give you a shot at it this morning. Like all the unique products, which is a fantastic company by the way, uh, comes in a nice box, easy to open. We'll uh, flip this down here and pop this box open. It comes in a uh, kind of a uh, big styrofoam uh, box. Let's see if we can open this thing up properly. box back over here. Make sure it all stays out of the way. You can actually carry it in this. Of course it'd probably scream steal me so you wouldn't want to do that. But, uh, a lot of the new uh, helicopters and drones that are coming out are coming in these I guess you would call them styrofoam or egg crate cartons. They're actually kind of nice and you can put them inside of an overwrapped case that makes it easy to travel with or a backpack you can put it on if you want to go hiking with it. So uh, that's kind of what it looks like. So what's inside? Um, wow, very nicely packed. We'll pop open the uh, case there. I'll kind of let you see inside. I'll get a, a little closer shot of this so you can see it. The helicopter itself is smaller than a lot of people anticipated. It's a six head unit, which I love six head units because it gives you some redundancy. So we'll uh, pop the strap out here, which is nicely Velcroed in, I see. So that'll pop out. So you got a nice strap. It's also got the power cord for the charger. Power cord for the charger, which pops over there. Uh, the first of these units that shipped came with the Wizard. Now, if you're familiar with the Wizard, it's pretty cool. It'll clip on your, your jacket pocket or in your shirt pocket. You can put it in your back pocket. And you can actually fly the helicopter with the Wizard. It's kind of cool. It's just like the bigger transmitter, but smaller. Uh, it's also used for follow me. If you're racing your motorcycle or go-kart or something like that, you can keep that in your pocket, which is kind of cool. Um, of course, all of the props come in a nice bag, which are nice to store all of that. And the helicopter itself pops right out. We'll slide this over and we'll set it down here. See, it's, it's actually tiny all folded up. Makes it easy to carry. And the, the actual arms themselves fold down. So we'll just simply pop that up and it locks into place. We'll do all six of those. I get questions, folks asking, well, why are there six instead of four? And the, the real answer is just for redundancy. If you lose an arm on a six head unit, you can still fly the helicopter. It's not gonna come tumbling down. On a four head unit, the math equation is very, very difficult to get it to continue to fly on only three. Um, they're working on that, it's coming, but six head units are very, very safe, gives you a lot of redundancy. So, cute little thing, isn't it? Nice and small. The uh, camera protection piece comes right up. This uses a CGO3 camera, which is a full 12 megapixel still and a full 4K, 30 frames per second, 1080. Or 100, and, uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, 4K at 30 frames per second and 120 frames at 1080p, which is kind of cool. Full 360 degree view you have on the camera, which is different than the Typhoon 4. No lens distortion, which is uh, also a very, very nice feature. So what else have we got in the box? The, uh, the battery is a uh, 4S, 4 cell, 5400 milliamp pack. Notice no cables, no plugs. It, it slides right into the back, makes it easy to, uh, to pop in there and charge, and a little piece here which makes it easy to pull and latch and unlatch and get everything out of it. The manufacturer claims 25 minutes of runtime. I'm gonna tell you 15 to 18 minutes in a real world situation, just like most helicopters carrying this type of battery. So it depends on how hard it's having to work as to how long it's gonna fly. The uh, charger is real nice. It's just a sit down stand where the uh, battery just plugs in, which makes it real nice to do all of the charging. And one of the coolest features in this particular helicopter, oh, I also see there's a case 
for the wizard, which allows you to strap it on your arm and, and do that type of thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, the transmitter, fantastic. Uh, this particular transmitter, I'm going to set the uh, helicopter off to the side over here. This is called an ST16 transmitter, and I'll get you a good shot of it. But, uh, of course, two different types of antennas, both a longer range antenna and a clover leaf antenna. A huge 7-inch screen. Uh, that actually shows you a full 720p uh, digital downlink, which is great. Uh, fits good in your hand. I was playing with one of the shows. It's got a handle flips up, so if you want to set it on a table or just for carrying it around. Typical of Unique. It's got a nice start and stop button right on the top. Um, many, many flight modes that this particular thing will do. It's got Orbit Me. It's got Point of Interest. It's got a, a cable cam, which is very, very cool. You can actually plot a course and have it fly that course. It'll follow me. It'll look at me. It's got a very cool selfie mode where it goes out and looks back at you, which is kind of cool. So uh, I like the way it feels. I thought initially it might be too big, but the gimbals are smooth. Uh, all the switches and the flight modes are easy to get to. The pan and tilt controls are right on it. Um, I, I like it. And of course, this is uh, Android Power. It's got um, operating system. It's got uh, Intel chips and stuff in it. Of course, Unique is working very closely with in Intel. Took a $60 million uh, investment, I believe, not too long ago that's uh, helping Intel or helping Unique do a lot. Um, another thing I didn't mention was the... Um, well, that's kind of nice how those fold over. Was that the helicopter itself has retractable landing gear. So these just pop up out of the way during flight. Makes it really handy. It's kind of cool there. And again, the company itself, I love working with this company. I've met the CEO, ate dinner with him several times, Tian. Um, Sean is the CEO here in the United States. The, the company has some very good ethics. They're easy to work with. They'll pick up the phone and talk to you as a consumer or a dealer. Uh, they support their dealer network. So we're really happy to be strong with Unique and, and working with them. And they're coming along very, very well. Most people don't know, but uh, Unique was the company that developed the first full-size aircraft. Yeah, and that's one you can get in and sit in and fly. So uh, a lot of work they've been doing on that and a lot more things to come. So uh, kind of the open box video you see again the case looks like a great helicopter uh, subscribe to our channel we're going to take it out and fly we've got uh, more shipments coming in constantly uh, this has been one of the the biggest success stories that, uh, that they've had in uh, a long time they've had trouble keeping up with production but we do have plenty on order we're getting plenty in we'll be able to supply you so typhoon h from unique just a fantastic ship that's what comes in the box thank you very much for watching